Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're going to check out the new Black Box 3 by JS Surfboards. So the black box three that I'll be riding is the stock 5.9 and it comes in at 5.9 by 19 and 5 eighths by 2 and 7 sixteenths and exactly 29.9 litres. So the black box three is obviously the third version of the black box by JS. Um, I was lucky enough to surf the black box one uh, back in the day, I think it was around 2000, it was around eight years ago, 2010. Um, and that was epic, it was something I kept for kind of waves in kind of the one to three foot conditions, average conditions. Um, and this is the new version of the board. So the Black Box 3 has had a few changes. It has a fairly flat rocker throughout the board, um, a little bit of nose lift just to keep it above water through turns and whatnot. Um, and it has a fairly full and flat deck and it just comes to a low and medium rail, but it still feels nice and kind of generous uh, under your hand. Uh, flipping over the Black Box 3, uh, there's a single concave that starts up under the nose, goes through the board, and there's just a gentle double that comes through the fins and it just keeps water moving through the board and flowing nice and easily. So I've been surfing the Black Box 3 for a while now. Um, this is something I kind of grab in kind of, you know, waves that are maybe onshore, kind of junky, kind of one to four foot, but you still want to surf a performance shortboard kind of outline. Uh, these are the kind of boards I love. Like I'm not a tall guy and I love that when, you know, a lot of volume is put into a shorter shape, I feel like I do some of my best surfing on this. So I've really enjoyed this. Lately, we've had a lot of kind of nor'east wind swells that don't have a lot of push, but they're still a little bit of fun. Uh, and I've been able to surf the Black Box 3 in those conditions. So some of those ra waves have ranged from kind of the one foot, so around knee high, through to around four foot, so well overhead. Um, and this has performed really well across all those conditions. Uh, what I've actually enjoyed, it's actually got like a nice distribution of foam uh, under the board and it paddles really easily and gets into waves nice and early. Uh, and also the, the concave and that distribution of foam uh, keeps you skating, I guess, across flat sections and connecting sections really easily. And I've mentioned in a few reviews before what I really enjoy, and it's, I guess, something I've really enjoyed on the Black Box 3, is a lot of foam under your back foot. Uh, for my style of surfing, uh, there's quite a thick tail and I really enjoy a board that doesn't thin out too much through the back and under your foot. I feel like the board keeps a lot of drive and momentum, uh, especially being a heavier kind of guy. Um, and that's what I've really enjoyed about the Black Box 3. Even though the Black Box 3 is designed for kind of average kind of beach break conditions, I think this performance outline actually allows it to still perform in, in good quality waves as well. I've actually been lucky enough to surf it in some waves that have been a little bit better and bigger. So around the three to four foot, so kind of overhead range. Um, and it still has a nice kind of tucked in nose, so it keeps it nice and neat through turns. Um, and like some of those stumpy boards that have a fuller kind of outline that struggle when waves are suckier and steeper, uh, the Black Box 3 does not, it still performs really well. Um, and some of those, those stumpy characteristics was the foam through the board and the thickness, um, they don't dampen the performance of the board at all and it still performs in quite good waves and I've really enjoyed it. Uh, with the fins in the Black Box 3, uh, it's had the five fin set up uh, by FCS2. Uh, and what I've gone with, which I really enjoyed, is the new Julian Wilson Aircore fin. Uh, so this fin is a large fin by Julian Wilson and it's from the Carver family. Uh, I also tried this as a quad and I had the um, medium uh, Almeric template as a quad. It felt okay. Uh, the board didn't have like a nice kind of loose feel. It felt very kind of straight and like it was tracking. Uh, and I actually recommend it as a quad maybe for bigger or larger waves. If you were to travel with a board, um, you're only taking one board and it was kind of four or five foot or larger and it was kind of down the line waves, that nice tight feel of the quad would feel really good. 
Um, and I also rode in this, I rode the Philippe Toledo fin and that felt really good and that's from the Accelerator family from FCS. Uh, that felt good, but this was the fin that I, I landed on and I really, really enjoyed. Um, with foam in the Black Box 3, it's 29.9 litres, felt spot on. Um, paddled really well, surfed really well and when I compare it with boards with similar uh, volume, uh, this felt spot on. So if you're thinking of ordering one or you're picking one off the rack, uh, go with a literage or a volume that you're comfortable with and you're happy with and you'll be happy with the board. Overall, I think the Black Box 3 is for almost anyone. If you're a beginner surfer who wants to get in the performance shortboard market, uh, this has a really generous and even distribution of foam that makes surfing really fun and really easy. If you're an intermediate through to an advanced surfer and you want a performance shortboard shape, for kind of summary conditions and average waves, uh, this is it. It grovels really well, it gets into waves early, and then when you get a section or a wave a bit more push, or you get a good day at your local beach, uh, this thing will still perform. Um, I've definitely really enjoyed checking out the Black Box 3, and hope you get a chance to check one out as well. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. If you like what you saw, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could hit like. Uh, if you want to see more of what we're doing, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe. Um, beyond what we're doing here on YouTube, we also have an Instagram account, which we're keeping pretty active with. You'll find it on Instagram, at the surfboard guide. And on there, we'll be posting stuff about boards we have, immediate stuff about our experiences with them. You'll also have a chance to maybe connect with other people that have an experience with board that you may be interested in. Thanks so much for watching.